Hello folks and welcome. Welcome to Linux for Seniors. And I'm going to be discussing productivity today. Now, Linux is uh, for Seniors is the name of my channel. Linux is for any age, but um, that uh, logo that you see right here that I'm circling, uh, you should find in the corner and it should remain there the whole time during the video. You can click that to subscribe if you want to subscribe. I have over 250 videos on all kinds of, well, tips and tricks. So again, welcome to Linux for Seniors. Today's video is going to be about Zorin 16.3, the GNOME desktop, and I'm going to be talking about productivity stuff. Something to do with maybe your office, um, like a word processor, maybe LibreOffice, or adding a dictionary, or even an offline thesaurus. So if you choose not to use LibreOffice and you want to use something different, I'll talk about another option. This is an offline dictionary complete with pictures and an offline thesaurus. So I'm filming in 1920 by 1080, so you can adjust your YouTube player accordingly if necessary, since some of them, well, default to a lot less screen resolution. I am going to close that and um, say welcome one more time. So let's talk about Office. I'm going to give you a couple of tips in LibreOffice, and then I'll also talk about some other options for a word processor. Hamburger menu time. This is um, LibreOffice 7.5. And um, I'm just going to type in the word test and misspell it on purpose. So basically, it self-corrected the first letter, but more importantly, it also um, took a guess at what I'm trying to spell. It could be misspelled and maybe not, but in my case it is. Here's a tip for you. I'm using a standard computer. Um, my standard, uh, what I mean by standard is a non-laptop type of keyboard and mouse. So a regular computer mouse and uh, it's wireless with a scroll wheel on it. The keyboard is fairly standard. It's just a wireless keyboard. Holding down the control key scrolling up to make the text bigger. I'm not changing the font. If I was changing the font, I would highlight that and click something different. All I'm doing is click in the view, holding down the control key while scrolling with my computer mouse while holding the control key. Comes in handy for resizing stuff depending on the size of your screen. Filming in 1920 by 1080 one more time. All right, so I'm going to pull this down a little bit. It's just a little trick that I have. If you've never seen any of my videos doing stuff like this, um, to resize the window. So let's go take a peek at uh, software and I'm going to talk about a couple things you can look for. First of all, we can, if you don't like LibreOffice, we can do a search for Abbey Word. So Abbey Word is a word processor. Okay, so you can certainly install that. There are two flavors. There is the flat pack version and the Zorin package version of this word processor. Okay, so the next item I'm going to look for is Golden Dictionary. I'm just going to put in Golden and that you can see it's installed. All right, Golden Dictionary is a program that uh, not only can you resize the text inside of the window itself, but you can copy text and pictures out of it. It almost acts like a web browser. It also comes in the standard Zorin package and also Flatpak software from flathub.org. The other one is called Artha that I'm going to talk about. Artha is an offline, offline handy thesaurus. And it's kind of an interesting way that it runs because it has a, a hidden command also, which is, I believe, is Control-Alt-W when it's actually running. Okay, so Artha, you can also install that. Okay, I believe it's only one version. It doesn't have flat pack. All right, so let's go take a peek at these applications. So we will start with um, the dictionary. So Golden Dictionary is installed in the Office category. This is what it looks like. And uh, Golden Dictionary is an interesting dictionary. I'm going to hold down my control key and scroll backwards to resize the text on the fly. I can certainly go full screen if you like, or make it just the window size and resize. So I'm going to look for a word. I've shown this on previous um, 
videos for other distributions. So if you've seen some of my videos there, I like to kind of use the same material. So um, I just used the word Viking. Now I'm doing some research and I want to actually incorporate that into a word processor in here into a document, right? I have LibreOffice Writer currently open. I'm going to minimize that again. So I will uh, hold down the control key and scroll up a little bit. All right, this is where I was born, the country of Iceland. But more importantly, I want to grab some text out of here. And this acts just like a web browser. So if I was, um, you know, resizing that on the, on the fly, I can click on Denmark, for instance, and it comes up with the flag and all that goody stuff. I'm going to uh, make that a little bit larger for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to just highlight seafaring people and um, right click and copy. So the alternative is, of course, control C as in Charlie. Very common command. It's also a very common command in Microsoft Windows. So there's some commonality here when it comes down to copy and paste. The paste version is control V as in Victor. Okay. So I'm going to close that and you're probably going, whoa, you closed it. How are you going to, actually it's still open. All I got to do is show main window. It's still highlighted even. So that just minimizes that to your panel. So I will open this back up and I can either do a control V or I can right click and hit paste. So far so good. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is reopen this up. And I'm going to go grab um, a picture. Now I'm going to scroll this back a little bit just to let you see there's lots of stuff in here. I know you can't read the text. I just want to let you see there's tons of pictures. Okay, and then I'll, I'm going to resize this back up. All right, so let's say I wanted a photograph here like this one. I just take my mouse pointer and point at it, right click and copy the image. And I can close this and then I can click in here and paste that image. It's very large right now. So I'm going to grab one of the ears and try to reduce that a little bit. I'm trying to grab a hold of that corner there. All right, and I can also hold down the control key while scrolling to just to give you the perspective. Because all I'm doing is resizing what you can view. Okay. Now keep in mind, I can also alter the text over here with something different. Let's say I wanted uh, that one. All right, so you get the idea with the picture. All right, I'll put that to the side. Now, let me go back and we'll minimize this and reopen up Golden Dictionary. Show main window. And I'm gonna try a new word, like dog. We have lots of doggies there. So I'm going to grab one of the pictures that are in here of these dogs. Let's grab um, maybe this one. Right click, copy image. And I'm going to open this up and click in here somewhere and hit paste. And then we can move doggy down here. You get the idea. All right. So again, this dictionary comes in handy. And this also has some preferences. All right. So you may want to take a peek at some of these preferences if you like to uh, have it like start up. Um, I normally don't when I use Golden. I normally have, don't have it start. I just open it manually, but you may want to investigate some of those options. So again, even if I close it, it still stays down here and I can just reopen this back up. You could right click on it and hit quit. And again, if you log out of your system or reboot, it's going to quit unless you activate it. One of those two options to restart on, on reboot. All right. So far, so good. Okay. Let's go find Artha. So we can either type in A-R-T-H or just uh, look for Artha. It's normally in the accessories. Okay, and of course you could add to your favorites also, or even the desktop if you like. So I'm going to open up Artha, and uh, on the gearbox you can see that there is a Control Alt W. Okay, this just happened to be the last command that I ran. So I will uh, put in um, test uh, drive. I don't know. So test drive it is. So if I wanted to um, use this thesaurus for whatever reason. I want the word. I want to, um, to uh, copy text out of here, whatever. Highlight the thing. I like that one. Vehicle one is considered buying. Test drive. Yes, of course. Right click and copy. 
control C. Open up your word processor and uh, where do we want to paste that? How about right next to that seafaring people thing? I used control V on this. So let me hit uh, control Z. That will be an undo. Right click and paste. I can also uh, go back in here because it's holding that last text that I changed to something different. So we will do uh, maybe comic relief on that one. How about if we decide to increase the font? Keep in mind, I can always hold down the control key and scroll up to resize what you're viewing. And I can go full screen also. All I'm doing is, is holding down the control key and scrolling. This is your view. This is not the, the actual font size. If I were to do that, then I would change the font size. I'm mixing a little bit here. All right, so basically, Artha is an open thesaurus. So if I close that, you don't see an icon down here per se, but you can hit Control, Alt, and W, and it'll bring it back up because there is some, again, some keyboard lookups for global. Global hotkeys. So when you get done with all that, of course, then you save your file and you're done. I'm not going to save it. So as a recap, some of the things you may want to think about. If you are wanting to test drive or something different than LibreOffice, try Abbey Word. If you are wanting to have a nice dictionary that has photographs and all kinds of information that kind of looks like a web browser, try Golden Dictionary. I'm fond of it. And uh, more importantly, you also have uh, Artha for an offline thesaurus. The reason I showed the offline dictionaries and thesaurus, just in case you decide to go with a different word processor, for instance. So they again, they're all both offline applications. That one is still running, by the way, and it still is holding the dogs. So as soon as I quit and reopen this, and I, it's in the office categories currently where it's stored, it opens up to the welcome screen, and then you can do your searches from there. Don't forget, there is some options under preferences you might want to take a peek at. So again, Linux for Seniors. If you see this icon in the corner, you can subscribe. If you don't see that icon, unfortunately, you're watching this on someone else's channel. But you can still go to YouTube and look my channel up and look for that official logo and click it and subscribe. Thank you for watching.